I'm Laura Mueller, your South Carolina State Parks Insider. Oysters are a keystone species and a critical part of coastal habitats like the one here at Hunting Island State Park. Once a year during the summer months, in an effort to help protect and preserve the oysters, Hunting Island partners up with the South Carolina Department of Natural Resources and local volunteers to help restore the oyster beds here at the park. This effort is part of a program known as SCORE, which stands for South Carolina Oyster Restoration and Enhancement. So here in the Low Country, one of our favorite delicacies we have is the local oysters. Uh, we can actually pick those at the local oyster beds and uh, take those home and cook those and eat those. Well, as a part of our overall uh, recycling efforts and some of our Going Green initiatives that we do is we take those oyster shells and we can recycle these in containers here on the park and then work with volunteers to put those oyster shells together and uh, put them back into the environment. On select places in South Carolina, the Department of Natural Resources have set up oyster shell recycling centers. We have some of those in our state parks, and Hunting Island is one of the parks that has one. Where th This way folks can actually, when they do cook oysters at home, they can actually take those shells after they're uh, finished with those, use sh shells, take them and put those in those centers. We build oyster reefs for the ecological benefits they provide, not just because they're delicious. They provide great habitat, over 85% of seafood that you eat will at some point utilize an oyster reef. Also oysters filter the water. One adult oyster can filter 50 gallons of water a day. So if you multiply that by the billions of oysters we have in South Carolina, they're doing a lot to help keep phytoplankton levels in check and filter out some of the heavy metals and toxins that are washing off of our roadways. So one of the parts of this really is central to this program is the volunteer effort that goes into it. This is, as you'll see, is a very labor-intensive program. Folks really have to work really hard going one-on-one -on -one effort to basically take those shells and move them down to the intertidal zone. We, uh, we're building some oyster habitat today. Uh, my name is Bruce Donoff. I'm with the Friends of Hunting Island. The Friends of Hunting Island has been involved with the SCORE project for seven years. There is just an amazing amount of reef that has been built. At the end of two hours you can see what 50 people can do. There's just a fantastic amount of shell put down and then we rebar it down into the beach and uh, I mean, it's, it's one of the more fantastic programs that we're involved in. We think the world of the SCORE people because they, they work really hard at this. This is not a very glamorous job. It's a very muddy job. So we had about 40, 50 people, and we put down about 700 bags of shell, and it was a wonderful day. Mm -hmm.